Welcome back, everybody. Okay, this is a technique that we're going to use to create a line art image out of clip art. And um, a couple of videos ago, I talked about creating a coloring page from a photograph, and we could create coloring pages from uh, clip art like this. So here I have a dragon that is basically clip art. It was probably created in Illustrator or some kind of illustration. Uh, program and um, basically we're going to make it so all the color goes away and we're left with just uh, the lines so that way we can f set it up as a coloring book page if we want uh, and this technique is a little bit different than using the filter effects to create the um, the line art because it is not a photograph uh, it will automatically remove the solid colors that we have for our dragon here in the greens and the the golds and to do this we don't have to worry about the background layer being locked uh, all we need to do is um, create an adjustment layer an adjustment layer is a layer that is going to be placed on top of the background layer that is automatically going to filter out certain aspects of the background layer and just like any other layer on top of another layer we can change the visibility and turn it off and then what we add an adjustment layer is we come down here in the bottom of our layers panel and we click on this half white half black circle here and that's the adjustment layer options so we can create that for us and when I go down I can see that there's one called threshold and the threshold will uh, determine the amount of blacks and whites that we have available so when I click on threshold you'll see that it automatically generated this layer up here that is automatically filtering out the colors from this image and I can see right away it left some of the colors here in the in the dragon but we can fix all that with the sliders so now we have a line art for this particular clip art object and I can go down here in the adjustments panel that has now appeared because we've chosen to create an adjustment layer and as long as the adjustment layer is selected I will see the slider down here if I move the slider to the left my image will get lighter and lighter and lighter so I'm changing the amount of black so if I really wanted no black there on that wing up here in this section I could move it to about 72 for the threshold If I move it to the right I get darker and darker and darker until it's completely filled in so wherever there was color now it's all black okay but it starts out in the middle here and I'm gonna push it back just until we have no more speckles on the wings and on his tail and now I'm leaving some of the details here on the scales and uh, that is leaving this area here black but that's not unusual for a coloring book to have certain sections that are blacked out and uh, so now I've got less speckles than I had before and I'm seeing the details and the scales and I'm leaving those in so somebody can come in and color those in and make it look great so using an adjustment layer I can create a threshold adjustment layer which now is going to change my clip art that I had originally here uh, with all the nice colors in there to a black and white image that is now a line art image and a very easy technique to create um, and uh, I, I able to apply this to uh, any clip art that I want uh, that is not uh, copyrighted or locked by the the copyright holder all right that is creating line art from a clip art and I appreciate you joining me again today, and I hope you have fun with Photoshop Elements. Have a good day.